build the marina of the 21st century, you don't need any shoreline management permits, no environmental impact statements, and no tideland leases from the Department of Natural Resources. That's because this marina is on dry land. Big marinas, as we've known them, can no longer be built. That's because expensive waterfront real estate is no longer available, and it's impossible to build any more breakwaters. Instead, all you need is a piece of land near the water and a ramp, and you have a marina that's environmentally friendly. Did you know that a large marina such as Elliott Bay has over 2,000 gallons of toxic bottom paint dissolving in it every year? At the same time, electrolysis is eating away at your props and struts, and zinc is dissolving into the ecosystem. A prototype 21st century marina using just over an acre of land with a limited amount of normal dock space has been in operation in Anacortes for the last two years. This new powerful yet gentle trailer can move any boat up to 60 feet long as if it was a 14 foot runabout on a small trailer. A few levers are pulled and pushed and then it's a short ride to your own reserved marina space. While your boat's being driven to your spot, you and your wife can stay aboard and finish some of the necessary chores to put your boat away next time you get to use it, next week, next month, or next spring. A few minutes later, you're at your reserve slip. Another lever is pulled. Your boat is gently lowered onto the keel blocks. The jacks are put in place. And the trailer drives away to handle the next boat in the schedule, either launching it or hauling it out. The yard crew will come aboard and start getting it cleaned up without any harsh chemicals drifting back into the bay. The electricity is hooked up. You step ashore from your transom to an elevated walkway, down some steps to your car that's parked right next to your boat, not 300 feet away. While you're gone, you know that your boat can't sink. It can't cause any pollutions. It's not going to be deteriorating in salt water, and it's stored in a very safe place. If you want some work done on your boat that's potentially polluting, there's no need to take it anywhere else because it can be done right here where it's parked. The age of mobile mechanics has arrived with fully equipped trucks and mechanics that can repair everything from replacing an electric light bulb to replacing a complete engine. And with such low overhead and very low hourly rates, you won't even mind paying the bill. The Dryland Marina has a fully staffed office to help you with any boat problem you might have from arranging for a new anchor to repairing Zodiacs and everything in between. Do you need fuel? Well, we can fuel your boat in the yard at low dry land rates with no risk of contaminating a marina. Need a pump out? We can do that too. Boats that are for sale are in a special place in the marina and they sell quickly when they can be seen this way because this is the best place for a buyer to see the boat both above and below the waterline. I bought my last boat here because I was able to compare 43 different boats who were sitting side by side without having to drive from marina to marina while trying to remember which boat I'd seen last and at what marina. This dryland marina has been in operation in Anacortes for two years and it's full all the time. I'm Warren Miller and I've been messing around in boats for the last 50 years. But when I'm busy working somewhere on another ski movie, I store my boat in this 21st century marina in Anacortes. Why don't you?